look so far like they're staying in. Neither of them have tried touching it this time. That might just be because I'm standing on the outside with a bucket, kind of flinging it at them if they get too close, but we'll see. Hi, Mrs. Fatty. Hey, Rumor. Hey, Domino. You guys ready to try to come out on the electric fence again? So, unfortunately, I deleted a video that I had just edited. It was like a 20 minute video showing how I put all this electric fence up and all the components I use and the whole process and everything, but it's been deleted. So I'm just gonna kind of do a quick video of what I use for the electric fence for my Nigerian dwarfs and um, I'll provide links for everything under the video description box and everything I use, the converter. Kind of just a quick simple video. It's a lot simpler than people make it. It's really not that hard, um, so yeah. So I just use these fiberglass um, posts. They're about four feet tall. Um, about four feet tall, the electric's off right now. Um, and I use just poly wire. And like I said, I'll put links to everything. I use a combination of poly wire and metal because I had that on hand. Um, I did four insulators high. Um, they're about 10 feet apart. Um, the way you calculate the wire that you need is you just multiply how many insulators you have um, and then you have 10 feet apart and um, so I have 25 posts. I did a total of 25 posts at 10 feet apart. So it gives me about 250 feet of length times four lines, because I have four lines on here. So that equals how much wire, length of wire approximately that I needed to kind of make the full circuit around. I'm just gonna show you guys what converter I used um, to get the electric through this. It's been super cold out here in Tennessee. We had snow yesterday. We had snow this morning. Obviously you can see it didn't amount to much. It never does here, even though it's really cold doesn't stay very long. Um, it gets really cold. I'm glad I got this done. Um, we had a couple of malfunctions a couple of times, which I had on video. It was kind of funny um, getting the goats to train to this electric fence. Domino, my weather, he got out. He went straight through the wire and rumor followed behind him. So we had escapees for a little bit. Um, I put them in here yesterday. Um, they seem to do pretty good. Rumor got zapped a couple times, so we're just gonna repeat this process a few more times, probably like five or six times, until they get it and uh, they have a clear understanding that this is a boundary that they can't cross. So as far as the converter goes, that's gonna supply, that's supplying it to this, I have a, just a two by four post set here in the ground. It's not concreted or anything. Um, and I'll just show you what I have. And like I said, I'll post the links to what I have in the video description box. When you guys purchase through my links, it helps me out a little bit and I truly appreciate it. So I've got the Zaraba, it's this 0.1 output joules. It's a solar converter, which is super cool. So I just let the sun charge it. Um, now to explain kind of this process, um, we ran the wire and then we came to here with the wire and then the wire goes, that's gonna go to your, I guess we'll call it hot terminal, that's gonna supply this with the pulse. You're just gonna connect the wire that's run through here to your red hot terminal post. Um, and then you wanna have a ground wire, okay, which is gonna attach to your green terminal post. Hey, Sarabi, here's my guardian dog. What you doing, girl? You watching the goats? Appreciate it. Um, ground wire that goes to this green terminal post and runs down to some type of metal rod that you just wrap it around and stick it in the ground and that's going to ground your electrical fo your, your electrical fence down into the ground so you can just kind of see the setup here and then another thing because I ran out of wire if you end up not buying enough wire or you have multiple different types of wires um, that you're going to run I'll show you guys what I'm talking about because I actually ended up getting almost all the way totally around this goat pen here. Um, and I also, you probably want to weed eat. I weeded this whole area if you're going to be running a wire low like this. If you have miniature goats like I do, Nigerian dwarfs or some type of pygmy uh, miniature meat goat or something like that, you're going to want to make sure your wires are really close together, at least the bottom three, and they're really tight. 
this is really tight so that was the first malfunction i had to rerun all of this to make sure that it was really tight and really close together i ended up finding out it's not so much of how high it is if i need to run another wire i can but it was how close they were at the bottom where the goats could get in and out so i'll show you here what i mean about if you run out of wire if you run out of wire at a place that you can't connect it to your converter terminal i know it looks crazy but what you can do see i ran out of here at this bottom wire you can just bring it up make sure it's in contact with the wire on top of it that has the circuit complete that is tied into the converter box and just kind of wrap it around a couple times to make sure it contacts the wire and then you can cut it off hey girl and um that will complete your circle and it will make this wire hot as well hey girl so let's go turn the converter on and i'll show you what it looks like on the converter box so you know that it's running and it's active and it's hot another thing you probably want to do is get some type of voltage meter well um where you can test all the lines to make sure there's a, it's hot there's a voltage going through it which we've already done dogs got have gotten zapped several times we had one domestic dog, a neighbor's dog, not care about the electric, go in, try to get one of my goats. It was a bigger deal. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you really quick what it looks like, how to turn it on, and um, how to make sure that your electric fence is okay. running. So you just wanna be careful, like I said, before you turn it on, because once this is all turned on, you could get zapped by all this stuff. Okay, the ground's not gonna zap you if you touch that, but if you touch any of this red stuff, going into this red terminal, you're gonna get zapped. So underneath it, there's gonna be a button, kind of like a switch. You wanna turn it on. It is a little hard. Okay, so I got that turned on. And then here, see how that's blinking right there, Red? That means it's okay, it's working, it's running. I also need to note too, before you turn this whole setup on after you get it set up, you wanna make sure that you give this charger about three days to charge. Um, so we gave it about three days, at least three days. Um, so it's nice and good, ready and hot to go. You ready, Sarabi? It's all nice and hot now. I'm gonna try to let the goats out and see if they'll behave again. All right. Another thing is if you find that your wires were too loose when you ran them, or you find that they're getting loose, I'm not gonna touch this if this is hot, but I don't know if you can see. The line's clicking right now too. I don't know if you can hear that. That's another way you can tell that it's on. See how I wrap that around there a little bit? You can do that and you can wrap it around several times to kind of tighten up the slack on your line. And that definitely helps. Make sure all your insulators are really tight and screwed on tight there too. Because if a goat touches it and they try to go forward and it's not tight, they can pull that insulator up and down and it's gonna mess up your line. Another improvement that I made here was is that we put another two by four in here. We put these hinges in for this chain link fence gate. Um, this is just a modification, a temporary modification to, to hold that in there. I gotta get a chain around this T-post. Actually, I gotta do that here. Cut this out with some bolt cutters so this kind of folds in there and I can put a clip in there set a two by four post, put that on there, and then electrify this between here. It's got the kind of insulators that you nail into wood and just ran that again, made sure it touched um, the live wire here and just back around. And that's all electrified too, minus this top one here. Um, but yeah. You crazies ready to come out and browse a little bit? All right, let's let you crazies out. All right, well, the crazies are out. We're going to see if it's going to hold them in, if they're going to get zapped this time again. This is going to be the third time that they've been out on here. First time Domino decided he wanted to zap it, he went back, and then he touched it again, and he went straight through it actually right here, and that's when I had to rewind the line all again. Hey, Deke! Got to feed all these guys here. Probably just give these guys some grain after they browse over here a little bit <laughs> with them staying in if they stay in. But yeah, they're definitely gonna enjoy that for now. I'm just gonna sit in my Jeep and watch them to make sure that they stay in. So I'll keep you updated. The process of training them here, um, like I said, about five or six times of them getting zapped and they should understand that there's a boundary there. What are you eating, Domino? Anything good? You eating raspberries? What about you, Rumor? 
We're eating raspberries too. It looks like maybe some old goldenrod. <laughs> He's like, feed me see more. All right. bunch of happy goats right now <laughs> they look so starved don't they they act like they're so hungry all the time goats they're some of the most stubbornest animals I've ever had before but I tell you I love them a lot they're definitely um, worth having rumors we're gonna be having babies here in about 32 days sometime in the middle of February so I'm super excited about that her stomach's growing really fast now. Her udders, um, her teats actually have started to get bigger already. So we'll see if she ends up having an enlarged udder with some milk before she has kids or not. So I'm feeding the horse and the donkeys right now. Giving them a little bit of space to see if they're gonna act fools or not. We'll see. So far, so good. I can take some hay here. The next thing I need to do is prepare a spot for her rumor to kid and a spot for little babies. Thinking about either putting them in the horse barn making a spot in here somewhere we'll see I picked up a bunch of pallets the other day free pallets to make some shelter for them so that will be a fun project hey buddy hey guys here's some hay hey Hank hey Conway right. now I'm gonna go turn on the water really quick well I got some daylight it's been so cold I don't like running the hose outside while it's this cold unless it gets warm a little bit you know day sunny like this yesterday it was extremely overcast so there's no sun so I'm gonna run the water right now and fill up the 90 gallon trough don't forget to turn this off Sarah Beth <laughs> Domino's over there looking at me like can I do it can I do it can I get through there? He's definitely, he might, he might test it again. Yeah, he's pushing it. I'm gonna go back over there and see if he's gonna push it. Always oh, got his head through. Hold on guys. You back over there watching the chicken now? You're funny. All right, no, I was wrong. He doesn't got his head through. It just looked like it. He's really close to this wire. I really wish I'd give him a good zap. He needs to get a zap and not go through it, go back. Rumor is really smart. She, uh, okay, good. She got zapped a couple times and she went back. You really enjoying that uh, blackberry bush, huh? This one likes to eat dead uh, leaves. You enjoying that blackberry bush? <laughs> oh, you're eating the honeysuckle, I see. again so far so good get the goat some more water Sarah Beth don't forget to turn the light off <laughs> oh, I think that's like a every farmer's problem did I turn the light off did I shut the gate did I turn the water off <laughs> well these uh, made that super duper easy literally just cut right through this to put this down. I'm just gonna snap that snap on there. If you don't have one of these bolt cutters, you need to get yourself one. <laughs> super, super useful. So now I can just take my, my diver, MacGyver bailing twine mess here that I have, undo it and just hook this to here. And uh, this should stay, yep. And this should be good, right into the T-pose. I can just cut this off now. 
and we're all ready to go. Well, I think it's a success. What do you think, Domino? <laughs> what do you think, Domino? <laughs> All right, well, uh, like this, subscribe to see my next video, uh, to see more videos like this, hit the notification bell uh, to get updated when I post my next video. Comment if you have questions. Um, I love y'all. Thank you for subscribing and following me in this journey. I hope this helped and gave you some information on how to set up an electric fence. It's really easy. It's not as complicated as everyone makes it to keep your goats in. It's not so bad training them to the electric fence. It just takes a little bit of time. Um, but till next time, y'all, be blessed. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, guys.